Hello students, let us take a look at the second solved example of chapter 9, areas of parallelograms and triangles. This is based on the same concept uh, that we did in the previous class, that is parallelograms on the same base and between the common parallels are equal in area. So now uh, we need to prove something new based on the given data which is if a triangle and parallelogram on the same base and between the same parallel, then you need to prove that the area of the triangle is half the area of your parallelogram. Which is why we have drawn triangle APB and quadrilateral ABCD on the same base AB and between the common parallels AB and PC. We need to prove that area of triangle APB is equal to half the area of quadrilateral ABCD. So how do we do this? First of all, what I will do is I will draw, I will make a construction BQ such that PA is parallel to QB and also we have that PQ is parallel to AB. Therefore, what can I say that PQ, uh, APQB is a parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel. Now this parallelogram out here APQB and ABCD they lie on the same base AB and between the uh, common parallels AB and PC. Therefore what can I say that the areas of the two parallelograms are equal. Let's write this down then we'll proceed further. So I'll say proof. So you will start with your construction. What is the construction? Draw BQ such that BQ is parallel to AP and Q lies between PD, uh, PD and C. So what do we have? P, D, Q and C. Right? Let's mark this as 1. So what do you get? We know the, uh, we have BQ parallel to AP from 1 and we also have PQ parallel to AB. This is given. Given that we have common uh, the AB is parallel to PC and Q lies on uh, the line segment PC, right? Given and PQC. Therefore, quadrilateral APQB is a parallelogram, right? Now, parallelogram ABQ, sorry, it's APQB. APQB and parallelogram ABCD lie on the same base. So what is this called? Same base AB and common parallels. What are my common parallels? PC and AB. Right? Therefore, area of APQB is equal to area of ABCD. Let's mark this as 1. Right? So now let's move on to our parallelogram APQB. So this is my parallelogram out here. Let me just darken it a little or rather just, let's just leave it. I have my parallelogram APQB in which PB is the diagonal. What do we know about the diagonal of a parallelogram that it divides it into two equal triangles. Therefore, which are my equal triangles going to be APB and BQP. Obviously, when they are equal, equal or congruent triangles, their areas are going to be equal. Let's write this much and then we will proceed further. So, I'll say in parallelogram 
a p q b i have b p is the diagonal therefore b p divides parallelogram a p q b into two congruent triangles therefore what do i have therefore triangle p a b so, uh, sorry i'll take a p b because we need a p b here a p b is e congruent to triangle so i have taken a p b that's why i will take q b p right now we know that for two uh, congruent figures the areas are equal therefore i will say area of triangle apb is equal to area of triangle qbp right let's mark this as 2 but adding these two areas what do i get i get the area of my parallelogram apqb let's write this down but area of triangle apb plus area of triangle qbp is equal to area of parallelogram apqb let's mark this as 3 so what do you get from 2 and 3 instead of qbp i am going to write abp itself because i have apb is equal to qbp right so therefore i'll say area of triangle apb plus area of triangle qbp uh, sorry abp itself apb is equal to area of apqb from 2 and 3 right therefore twice area of triangle apb is equal to area of apqb now two we'll take it on the right hand side so it will divide on the right hand side therefore i have area of triangle apb is equal to half area of a p q b right let's mark this as 4 now if you take a look at 1 and 4 instead of ap q b i can write a b c d right therefore i will say area of triangle apb is equal to half area of abcd from 1 and 4 so this uh, this is what we needed to prove that area of triangle apb is equal to half area of quadrilateral your parallelogram abcd see in your textbooks it's not really mentioned they haven't given these uh, denotions for a triangle and quadrilateral or a parallelogram so it's always a good practice that you get into habit of doing it therefore i'll say area of triangle apb is equal to half area of your parallelogram abcd usually this box it indicates quadrilateral but here we know that abcd is a parallelogram so it's you may write parallelogram that's a double line and gm or you can just draw this uh, small box to denote that okay it's a quadrilateral so this is what we uh, was supposed to prove and in fact this is a universal truth that if a triangle and a parallelogram they lie on the same base and between the uh, common parallels then the area of triangle is always the half uh, always the area of the triangle is half the area of your parallelogram so this was about the solved example number 2 before we get started with exercise 9.2 based on the same concept parallelograms on the same uh, base and between the common parallels let's take a look at that in the next videos thank you
Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.